Good morning, everybody. We are talking about all things green. That is stunning. Sometimes it's all about simplicity. Other people enjoy a nice injection of bright colors. Whatever your flavor. Frank Ferragini or Frankie Flowers is here to answer all of your gardening questions. It's so nice to see this, Frank, finally. Yeah, it's so and nice. This. Yeah, and you know, of course, I brought in a whole bunch of pansies and violas. Just to let people know if you're wondering what are some things that I can do to add color to my outdoors this coming weekend. These are always tried and true. This is a variety that's called Cool Wave. Cool Wave is a trailing pansy. So in, in your front pots, your containers, fantastic. A little bit more heat tolerant, so it's going to last a little bit longer. Through the summer season. Okay, as well. let's yeah. get right to it. Yeah. Up first, we've got Sue Ann at Sue Ann Triple Zero One. Good morning, Frankie. Good morning. Is this weekend a good time to plant grass seed? Yeah, I'm getting that question a lot. So there's everybody's noticing some of their damage that they have out there in terms of their lawns. Grass seed needs a soil temperature. So this is going to sound like a little bit of a science lesson, but it needs a soil temperature of around 17 degrees. That's when it germinates the best. So this weekend is a little bit early yet for grass seed. Let okay. the temperatures warm. Right now is a great thing to do is to rake the lawn, uh, maybe put down some corn gluten for weed prevention, uh, and at the same time, some of those broken branches and things, leaves, get the leaves off the lawn. Okay, yeah. so it's time to clean up a bit. Yeah. Maggie May from Maggie Muskoka says, I need to buy grass seeds that will grow in shade of tall white pine trees near Barrie. Any suggestions for that? So there is a dense shade that you can get, a seed that's for dense shade. So you want to make sure you get a seed formulated for shade. The next thing is, is underneath the pine tree, those needles will acidify the soil. So the first step before putting grass seed down, you need to put lime down that neutralizes, okay. then some soil on top, and then use a dense uh, a shade grass seed. The other option that you can do too is you can actually mix in a little bit of white clover. That clover will mix in. It'll look natural yeah. and it's green. Uh, it's it's nice. Some people don't like clover in their lawn, but that's just another option. Oh my gosh, it sounds so pretty. Yeah. Uh, Linda Tinkler says, and she's uh, at Twitter at Linda Tinkler W. Uh, 89. Mm -hmm. Hi, Frankie. I've got small tangerine trees in my home growing. When can I plant them? That's so pretty and fresh. Yeah, so that smell of citrus is great. It's a tropical plant that cannot take any of Jack Frost. Typically in Toronto, the last frost date is around May the 15th. We got to pay attention to forecasts. But I would say after the 24th of May is your safest bet to put it outdoors. When you're moving outside, put it in a shaded location first so it can adjust to light levels, then into full sun. If you put it right in a full sun, shock. It, it'll shock it and burn the leaves that are on okay. it. Okay, see, I listened to you, Frankie. Yeah. Uh, this Sometimes. one's from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary says, wondering if you can give me some suggestions for plants that would grow and cover up my neighbor's ugly fence. Yeah. They won't, maybe I shouldn't have said her name. They yeah. won't. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Well, you provided your name. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, she says they won't even paint it. So, in, in terms of coverage for a fence, there are many climbing vines that you can use. And probably the fastest growing climbing vine is Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper will need for you to put maybe some chicken wire on that fence so it can have something to grow up and through. It grows nice and green during the summer season. In the fall, it's a nice, vibrant red. It is an invasive, fast growing vine. <laughs> the, up, the downside of this is it can grow if it's not kept under control all over the place. Oh. So, the other options that you can do for a vine as well is a, one that's Called the five leaf akebia, which is known as the chocolate vine. It has a slight fragrance of chocolate. Mm. It's also fairly aggressive growing. All the vines are aggressive growing. So as you go to plant it down, I would edge out in front of that fence. I put some stone down uh, to, or a really good edger that's kind of going to keep it. it somewhat contained. Okay, yeah. really good advice. Very Up next, fast growers. Donnie Jarvis says, Hi, I've got a problem growing grass in my backyard. Yeah. I want to throw a heap load of grass seed down. Any tips to help me? So in the backyard, so first you got to take a look at your soil, your soil quality. So if you're just throwing a heap load of grass seed, it needs soil to contact. So if it just throw it on the grass, it's not going to germinate. It needs contact with soil. The other thing that people do wrong when it comes to their grass and re overseeding is they put too much soil on top. It doesn't okay. hardly need any soil on top. So improve the soil. First step that I would do is aerating. We talked about yep. this last Punch week. Punch the holes. Right, then top dressing, good lawn soil then seeding over top. If you're looking for an instant gratification right away, sometimes sod's the best bet because it smothers out weed seeds. Uh, there's also things like easy seed, which is good for patches. A lot of people right now have problems with dogs that are burnt. You got it. That's yeah. what's next, actually. Uh, Bernice oh, says, I yeah. would like to know a good way to stop dogs from peeing on my shrubs and killing my shrubs, not so much the grass. Yeah, so with the grass, an easy seed you can use. There's even one that's formulated for dogs. For dogs, what it comes down to is just training the dog to pee elsewhere. Once one dog marks a spot, it's going to continue to go there. Other dogs are going to go there. Yeah. There are some things that you can get at local pet 
supply companies that are uh, ways to take away from the fragrance of that urine <laughs> smell and uh, really kind of condition them to go other places. Somewhere so else. I would go to go to your pet side, uh, supply and then also think about where in your yard, if it's your own pet, yeah. that they can go to the bathroom, give them a home, and you can almost kind of um, design it so that it has drainage in. Uh, I've even seen people put a fire hydrant as a concrete so fire cute. hydrant with drainage underneath. Inside? And, and outside. Oh, outside. No, 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 no. I was inside. Say. Outside. It's okay. Help out. Yeah. Frankie, also this weekend, you're always out and about. You yeah. love meeting people. They come with questions. They yeah. sign books. Where are you at this weekend? Friday night, I'm in Chatham. Saturday, I'm in Barrie. Sunday, I'm in London. When do you sleep? Uh, everyone. But the London Home Show, one uh, noon on Sunday is going to be a great place. Noon and, uh, and Friday night? Friday night, Chatham. Time? And that's at the Glass House. Uh, that is happening, I think, at 7 o'clock, and then Barry at 9.30 on Saturday morning. Okay, for all this info, check it out. FrankieFlowers.com. FrankieFlowers.com. Kev, over to you. Thanks, Frank.